How do you folks? Johnny here, just another quick short video. Um, I want uh, people to point me in the right direction because I'm doing a bit of background research for people about gas and electric and energy bills already being paid for um, with something to do with the credit slip that's at the bottom of your bill. So when you get a bill, you fill in and tear off the credit slip docket and then you write a cheque and you put the two together and stick it in the post. And as far as I'm being led to uh, believe, um, it's a double dip for the energy companies because they credit the credit slip as one payment and then they take the cheque and they pay themselves with that as well. Now, it's a bit sketchy with mine. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a bit sketchy with my knowledge uh, on this because I've never looked into it before. But I've um, posted something on Facebook earlier on where I think, what, it, what did it say? Uh, somebody wrote that their daughter and her young family uh, usually pay about £196 a month for gas and electric. And as of the 1st of April, it's going to be going up to just under 500 quid. And then by about October, it's being anticipated that it's going to be about £700 a month. £700 a month for a young family that can just about afford to pay just under 200 quid. That is absolutely ridiculous. So we're looking into this thing where people are getting rid of their um, gas meters and electric meters, buying their own gas meters and electric meters and having them professionally fitted by certified fitters and thus and cancelling their British Gas or whoever it is energy company contract. So I want to I wanna know all about that as well, please. Not, not, not for me. Well, not yet anyway, depending on whether they carry on stacking it up and up and up. Um, but I've got people that are asking about it. So the credit slip prepayment thing, double dipping, and the getting your own meters and fitting them and cancelling your contracts. Um, hit the uh, comments, please, folks. Thanks.